keep protesting? Why are we wasting police resources? Why are we enraged? Why do we lose, why have we lost all trust in our supposed leaders? Who are at the click of a button, have cut off UNRWA funding to 2.1 million Palestinians facing a genocide. Penny Wong, the war criminal. She must only be named as a war criminal from this day forward. Australia is not just silent when it comes to the genocide. Australia is deeply complicit. Deeply complicit. Australian manufacturers, about 50 Australian companies are key parts of the global supply chain for the F-35 fighter jet that Prime Minister Netanyahu regularly stands in front of to cheer on the invasion of Palestine. Without Australian parts, those Israeli fighter jets could not fly and bomb Palestine, but Australia continues to send them and build them and produce them. Act now, because so-called Australia is dangerously close to being legally complicit in the genocide following the ICJ ruling. And the response from the so-called government is exactly what you expect. It's crickets during nightfall. How dare the Albanese government stay silent on this genocide? How dare the current government that doesn't even say the word genocide? How dare they utter the words of humanity or humanitarian aid? How dare you, Penny Wong, say that the situation is too far to judge? How dare you, Penny Wong, not even comment on the UN rights reports that says there has been the acts of sexual violence in Gaza against our women? How dare you claim only to listen to the evidence from the colonizer? How dare you stand there and say the word humanity?